Hello guys, welcome to my review channel. Today I'll be unboxing and reviewing this uh, CPU cooler from uh, Deepcool. The model number is Gamex 400 version 2, blue version. As you can see, all the varieties are there. This is the performance version of CPU cooler provided by Deepcool. And you can see fan speed varies from 500 to 1650 RPM, uh, as well as the noise level, which is around 28 decibels. You can pause and check out the specification now it is a single fan cpu cooler and you can see the price is 2300 on the box but i paid around 1000 rupees uh, the same model you'll get it in us or canada for somewhere between 20 to 25 us dollars and compared to the stock cooler those who are buying the non f uh, sorry non k version of cpus or amd cpus where they include the uh, heatsink you can see the size it is way way bigger and heavier than uh, stock cpu cooler now compared to a stock cooler which intel k series does not provide it will be definitely much more 10 to 15 degrees cooler as you can see the uh, heat radiation area is much bigger now the supported uh, socket compatibility is uh, there it supports all the previous 8 to 10 years uh, generation of uh, CPUs. And this is the mountain bracket which I had to ask, uh, email and ask from Deepcool separately because it is the latest 12th generation LGA 1700 socket. It is not provided though. So I just had to pay shipping uh, which was around 2-3 dollars and they shipped it to me uh, in India. Now this is the installation guide for the various motherboards as i was saying they include all the attachments for previous generation motherboard sockets for all cpus up to eight to ten years or even more uh, it's a sad thing to say that this will be just lying around uh, you know waste of parts so let's get to it i'll just be using this mounting bracket mounted bracket for LGA 1700 uh, currently in the market at the moment all the LGA 1700 motherboards are there so you will probably be getting this uh, within the box you don't have to order it separately now installation is quite uh, time consuming uh, you have to go through the manual a lot I've managed to install it uh, installation of the fan is quite tricky because you don't want to put too much pressure and you know bend the aluminum fence or break the clip now the company provides only one pair of uh, metal clips to attach only one uh, fan now the included fan is of blue color it's a fixed blue led but i had three four extra fans lying around that too from deep cool and i installed this in my uh, cpu cooler now make sure whenever you're installing a fan on your CPU cooler, make sure it has got four pins, uh, unlike some have three pins. Four pins a fan have actually the ability to control and adjust the fan speed according to the temperature of the processor. Now I'm attaching another similar fan, which is a 120mm RGB, not RGB, uh, triple LED uh, fan from Deepcool. Now I've seen some videos on YouTube uh, on how to install it using zip ties. So I'm just showing you guys how I did it in real time. So this is a 10 centimeter or 100 mm uh, zip tie. Because I had larger ones uh, which could not fit through the fence in between. So I chose a smaller one. It is tricky at first but you'll get used to it. Now keep it a little bit loose because when you are adjusting the position of the fan, don't tighten it all the way at once. Uh, I have managed to only install three sides. The fourth top side, I couldn't reach my uh, hand into it, so it was no problem for me. So uh, since three zip ties were able to hold the weight of the fan, it, it was fixed. So I just left it like that.
now the configuration of the fan should be pull and push the front one is pulling air and the back one is pushing the air out so in that way like more airflow will pass through the CPU cooler Now, if you have similar heat sinks, uh, CPU heat sink there, and you have extra fans lying around, you can definitely add a zip tie and make, uh, you know, increase the performance of your cooler. As you can see, it's sturdily fixed. It's not moving around. Now, the motherboard comes with uh, additional uh, power supply, so I have attached both. And we can take a look at it. It's a triple color LED fan. Front one is pushing air and the back one is pulling air. It looks much better than the default blue color one. So hope you like my video guys and like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.